And we are joined now in the studio by Tyson Barker. He is program director of the Aspen Institute Germany and an expert in transatlantic affairs. Tyson, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Um, what do you make of Trump's foreign policy reversals? I mean, he came into office as the great disruptor. Now his policies seem to be following a more traditional line. Do you think that that's a fair assessment? I, th I think that's fair. And to be quite honest, I mean, you know, what world leaders, both allies and adversaries alike, are kind of craving is a little bit of uh, um, consistency. They're trying to be able to know what is going to happen, how decision making is going to take place, so that they can plan around it. That's how you make strategy. Um, you know, he has been somewhat erratic in this past, uh, these past two weeks, but that erraticism seems to be ticking more towards what we would consider a conventional liberal internationalist line of foreign policy that has been the mainstay of U.S. foreign policy since the end of the Second World War. So what do you think? Do you think that he stays now along those lines? Or is he simply just an impulsive individual? And could we see him flip-flopping throughout his presidency? Uh, the, the truth is, is that we don't have enough evidence yet to make that kind of assessment. I mean, what we are seeing right now is a shift from this kind of isolationist, populist, America first rhetoric that kind of defined him in the campaign and is associated with Steve Bannon to something much more associated with Jim Mattis or McMaster, much more consistent liberal internationalism, where you can make certain predictions. One is that the U.S. will not tolerate uh, chemical weapons attacks. Two is that we recognize that the relationship with China is extremely important, not just for U.S.-China relations, but for global stability. And making sure to get that right is of, of extreme importance. So these are two areas where we're seeing things start to level off a little bit, maybe. And all of this inconsistency, what do you think it is doing to the United States' place in the world? What is it doing to its reputation? Well, this has been one of the uh, most underreported stories, but it plays out very much in polls. So there has been a so sharp drop in uh, the U.S. image in the world that goes back to the levels that we used to see in the Bush administration. So if we're going to repair that image in the Trump years, he does need to be a, more of a steady hand in the, in the global scene. What do you think that his international counterparts would like to see? I think that more than anything that they're looking for that steady hand. They're looking for predictability. They're looking for somebody that they can bounce off of, work with, um, plan ahead on, um, so that they can make sure that their policies optimize their interests as well in the world. Tyson Barker, with the very latest, we very much appreciate your insight. As we mentioned, you are the director of the Aspen Institute Germany and an expert in transatlantic affairs.